As photographers, oftentimes we want the background of our photo to be out of focus. This is gonna help draw more attention to our subject. But what do you do if you have a photo where everything is in focus? Well, today we're gonna show you how to automatically blur the background of your images using lens blur in Lightroom. So we're starting off with our first image. You can see our subject is in focus, but the background is also completely in focus and they compete for attention. Compare that to this other photograph where our subject is in focus, but the background is out of focus. And you can see we're definitely looking at our subject a little bit more. It's taking less attention from the background and bringing that attention to the subject. So that's what we wanna do in this photograph. Now, we're gonna go to our edit tools and then very bottom here, you're gonna see lens blur. Let's go ahead and open that up and simply click on apply. It's gonna estimate the depth of your photo and automatically apply that lens blur. Look at this, already it's looking great. Now, a few recommendations. You actually have different types of bokeh that you can apply. So let's go ahead and increase the blur amount here. To try our different types of bokeh, simply click through and you're gonna have different looks to your background blur, something that you can't even do with photography. You'd have to literally use different lenses. Now, my suggestion here is for your focus range, you have a few different options. The first option is just going to find any subjects in your picture, but I recommend using this targeted adjustment tool. This will allow you to click and drag over top of your subject, and this is going to tell Lightroom what you actually want in focus, and it's gonna use that information to put everything else out of focus. Now, this is super cool as well. You actually have your focus range right down here and you can move this focus slider to make your subject out of focus if you wanted or your background. So you can change the focus at any time and you can even go in and visualize the depth so you can see what's in focus here versus what's out of focus. So if you have any questions or ideas on what you'd like the focus to be, you can see it in real time. All right, we're gonna turn that off. Now, my big suggestion here is you don't wanna go crazy with the blur because keeping in mind, this is a post-production effect, right? So if you go too much on it, it's not going to look as good as if you keep it a little bit more subtle. And again, our goal here is to draw more attention to the subject and knock the background out of focus, but you don't have to do this very strongly. You can add just a little bit of blur. And as you can see, it already makes a big difference. Let's just turn that off and back on, and we can see by adding that blur, it looks really good. Now, if you wanna refine it, you can see her hair just got a little bit knocked out into the background. You can go into refinement, and we're literally just going to paint in what's in focus. You can do this with a brush. So in this case, I'm painting the hair back in focus. There we go. So we have a perfect mask, and it's gonna look great on our subject. If you need to add a little bit of blur, you can just simply paint in the area that's gonna get the blur. And here we can see we have a perfect effect. The hair looks great and the background is perfectly blurred as well. All right, let's go ahead and zoom out and see our before and our after. There's our before. You can see the subject and the background compete for attention. And here in the after, we are beautifully blurred and we're gonna focus more on our subject. So the next time you have a photograph where everything is in focus and you wanna bring more attention to your subject, check out Lens Blur in Lightroom.